Oh, hmm. Put some bass in your voice. There we go. Hmm. What's going on? If you're new around here, hi, I'm Kelly. And if you're not new around here, how you doing? <sighs> well, we have reached that point in quarantine. We're cleaning. Oh God, it hurts to sit like this. I feel like everyone has at least one place in their home where things just go to die. I have several of those, um, but today I'm going to be going through this guy, which I, I honestly don't even remember the last time I've opened it. It's been years, but I'd really like to clean this out so that I can get rid of this chest. So I'm gonna do that today and I'm bringing you along with me. So please join me as we embark on this trip down memory lane. Who knows where it's gonna take us. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I'm kind of scared, honestly. For all I know, there's something decaying inside. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought, actually. That's a lot of paper. A lot of paper. I feel like every theater person has this innate reflex to keep every single playbill they've ever had in their hand. And I'm no exception. In my head, I justified it as, but like, what? I can use it as a reference one day if I ever work with these people. So I think what I might do is just keep ones that I like really like. This one I'm keeping. I feel like at least this one I can like sell to somebody for something if I'm strapped for cash. I don't know, does anyone have like a really efficient playbill storage system that doesn't take up a ton of space and isn't obnoxious? If you do, please let me know. Did you done? After 800 years of propagation. Oh, this is a monologue I wrote about being a fangirl for college. Maybe I'll do an encore performance at some point. So many Christmas cards. This is a list from eighth grade of one of my friends and my, like all of our inside jokes. There's a hundred listed on this thing. Oh, good times. So apparently in fifth grade, they made us write a resume. Like that's when we had to learn how to write one. Why on earth would a fifth grader have to learn how to write a resume? Like it's not like you really have any achievements yet. And here I have a framed picture of my Spanish class. <laughs> Senior year, our teacher like made one of these for each of us. And we like all had t-shirts made. And my hair was in braids. That's a rare occurrence. <laughs> Looking at all of your old school IDs is like looking at trading cards of yourself. Oh my god, why do I have so many newspapers? Why? Ooh, a poetic compilation. I often wonder how young children see the world. They think one thing is another and refuse to see it any other way. My little brother stumps me sometimes. I don't understand his views on certain things, like how he looks upon a cattail and states it's a furry hot dog or how he thinks the tooth fairy looks like an actual tooth. I guess you'd have to be there in his mind where his imagination runs wild and uncontrolled. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man. I get really wistful when I find, you know, like birthday cards from friends, you know, people that I used to be really close with when I was younger, but I'm not anymore. It's like a mixture of you remember how great that friendship was and how happy that person made you, but then you're also kind of bummed that things just aren't that way anymore. <laughs> okay, so back in elementary school in art class, sometimes we would have the opportunity to buy things like merchandise that had uh, the artwork we made printed on it. And this is a t-shirt for my Build-A-Bear. See if you can see that. Those are beluga whales jumping out of the ocean in glee that I drew in first grade. Focus. There we go. Thank you. And if you wanted, you could like get a matching t-shirt so that you can match your bear. Ooh, a person shirt. <laughs> so in middle school, my best friend and I were obsessed with anything Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. And we made these shirts with those like, I don't know what they were called. Um, like those bottle paints and 
First of all, my friend freaking drew the logo almost exactly. Shout out to you, Jenna. So we had that on the front and then like all of her song names on the back. And this was just album one, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. She didn't have any solo stuff yet as Miley. Also, side tangent, that same friend and I, one summer, I think after seventh grade, we got up at like four o'clock in the morning to go to the Brookfield Zoo because <laughs> Emily Osmond and, oh, what's his name? Jason Earls were there signing autographs for people. We were like, we can't pass up this opportunity. This is everything we've ever wanted. Apart from, you know, Miley. And so we took our shirts and they signed them for us. Oh man, that was a fun day. I'm aware of how this looks. <laughs> Oh, that it's dusty. One friend of mine and I, again in middle school, were clowns with chainsaws for Halloween. Trust me, I grew out of that. I wonder, if, do the batteries still work? Stop. Okay, stop. Cease. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I think we can donate that to another budding psychopath. Whoa, a binder! <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Y'all, so since about June? June? June. Final answer, June. I've been re- no. It doesn't matter. In quarantine, I have been re-watching Yu-Gi-Oh, like the original anime in Japanese. And I loved Yu-Gi-Oh as a small child. Like my brother and I both had gallon sized bags of cards. Like we had the dual discs and I found a small bag of mine tucked away in a drawer somewhere recently and I got so excited and I went through them but I knew that I had cards missing. Y'all. Oh, I even had an Exodia card. Sick. They aren't like the most powerful cards ever, but oh baby, these were my faves. Oh, I thought those were lost with the memory of the Pharaoh. Like Jesus Christ. So my friends and I would pass notes. Oh shit. Are we still recording? No. Oh. I survived my elementary school and my middle school. <laughs> Look at that. It's a picture of kindergarten me on a button. Should I campaign with this? Battery dying? No! Ooh, ew. Do you remember how nasty these were? Oh God. These are probably ancient and it's unopened. A compilation CD of the class of 2008, eighth grade, favorite songs including Damaged, Dance Floor Anthem, Sexy Can I featuring Young Berg, Lollipop, Four Minutes featuring Justin Timberlake, The Great Escape, Low featuring T-Pain, Thanks for the Memories, and Don't Stop Believing. This is a relic, a time capsule, truly. This was my mom's when she was a small child. What it is doing here, I have no clue. Lovely relic of the 1960s, the nails sticking out of the roof of the box. Oh, I remember this. This is for my birthday party when I turned five, I believe. Had it at a bowling alley, obviously. And apparently when you have a birthday party, they give you a bowling pin and everyone signed it. My brother dropped a bowling ball on my foot at that birthday party. He wasn't even sorry. Hell yeah. Look at that penmanship. Ooh, my PE uniform from middle school. Why do I do this to myself? I'm clashing. Oh my God. This used to fit around my waist. It probably still could, but it would suffocate me. Another selection from my arsenal of plastic weapons, apparently. This was from a dance recital in fourth grade where we were pirates. And we got to dance to the soundtrack from Pirates of the Car 
Pirates of the Caribbean, and I felt like such a badass. Truth. Oh, oh, that's dusty. But he's so cute. <laughs> Look what I found. It's your little baby booties. Look how small my little feetses were. Oh, it was so small. Okay, so this is obviously a quote from something, but out of context, I have no idea what it is. I look like a bear, I talk like a bear, but I can't fish, I can't climb a tree, and I can't even go in the woods. That's nothing. Half doe, half buck, I'm a duck. Hey, I ride a unicycle for crackers. I have a glass eye. I can't snap. I thought log was a color. I can't see my feet. I killed a man. Can I phone a friend on this one? <laughs> Done! Holy shit, that was a lot. And now it is just surrounding me. I am now a peninsula with shit on three sides. I did it! The sole survivor. If you're still here, thank you so much for going on that journey with me. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.